three. The Santa Barbara Courthouse was also damaged, demolished in that quake. Over the years, though, it's undergone a number of renovations. The most recent centered on the clock tower. And the only thing holding it up now, superstition. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez joins us live from the courthouse. And Elise, the number nine is making folks there pretty nervous. CJ, that's right, and I'll tell you about that in just a moment. But first, we want to show you what's been going on here at the courthouse that's kept this clock tower closed for about four months. Excuse me, is the tower closed today? 86-year-old docent Marie Mackey fields visitors' questions about the closure of the courthouse clock tower with a smile. At the beginning, they were very frustrated. It's been closed for months while work is done on the elevator. And it hardly makes any noise whatsoever. In the basement, it's out with the old and in with the new. What used to be here was a huge motor about the size of an average office desk. Big. Now the motor powering the elevator is the size of a tire. The modernized elevator will transport people with mobility challenges to the observation deck. A place that was too hard to reach before. You get me crying now. This will allow um, people with mobility issues to see a view that you and I have been able to see for quite some time, but they've never yeah. been able to see. Friday, June 29th was the day engineers were going to test the elevator out, but superstition came into play. It's the 90th anniversary of the earthquake that created this building. Nine floors up is the observation deck and $900,000 to get there to create a new stop. That's three nines. Workers also have nine days until the tower is slated to open to the public. Now the architect in charge tells me he is optimistic that they'll hit their target date and if all goes well, they'll reopen by the end of next week. Live in Santa Barbara, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3.